Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to resolve the video TDR failure error you might be getting in Windows 10. So we're going to address this error today. And it should be pretty straightforward. So we're going to start by heading over to our start menu. And we're going to type in device manager. And it should be listed directly above the control panel. So you want to left click on that. Now you want to go underneath display adapters and left click on the little drop down arrow next to that. Assuming it says Intel HD graphics here instead of saying VMware, it just says that because that's my display adapter on this virtual machine. It should say Intel HD graphics for you guys. You're going to right click on this and proceed to left click on properties. Then you go up to the driver tab at the top and then proceed to left click on the update driver selection here. Left click on search automatically for updated driver software should be the first option. So at this point, if it says the best driver software for your device is already installed, if you left click on the little arrow at the top that returns to the previous page, you can left click on Browse My Computer for Driver Software and download it manually. I do have a video on my channel going into how to locate driver software online if you require that assistance. However, there is one more step we can take here if your error has still not been resolved with your blue screen. And that would be to head over to the Start button and you want to right click on it and then left click on command prompt admin. If you receive a user account control window, select yes. Now what you want to do is type in power cfg space you want to do a minus sign, then lowercase h, then another space, and now type off and then hit enter on your keyboard. Once you're done doing that, you can close out of the command prompt window and then proceed to go back to the start button and right click on it again and then go up to the second from the top option where it says power options and proceed to left click on it left click on change plan settings it doesn't matter which button you select if you are on a laptop with battery power you might have further options select any button that says change plan settings and then select change advanced power settings. If you scroll down here, if you if there's an option that says your graphics settings, you want to select that. In my case, I'm just going to select the wireless adapter settings. And then if it says power saving mode, left click on the little plus sign next to that. Make sure it's set to maximum performance. Again, if you have a selection that says graphic settings for Intel, you would select that instead. And then in order to change the selection, if you just left click on where it says whatever setting it might be, so it could say low power saving, medium power saving, or maximum power saving, you would just left click on this box and then you would select maximum power saving and then left click on apply and OK. Again, that would be more if you are running a laptop. But in either case, um, hopefully either one of those three methods should work for you guys. And I hope, uh, again, that it worked for you, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.